totally across the board. There's not one sector that isn't green today. You know, some of the biggest drivers, I mean, MTN, we'll talk about their subscriber numbers now, but they came out with good subscriber growth. They up 7%. Telcom is up 9% on the day. Yeah, I saw that. What do you think is, is behind that? Look, I think people are realizing that when all the unbundling and the special dividends are over, you're actually getting the balance of telecom for nothing, basically. <laughs> so that very, very strong banking shares were incredibly strong today. I mean, the whole banking sector up 5%. You know, the big movers there, first round up 6%. Very, very good. On the resource side, SAPI up 10% on the day. Anglo's up 2%. Billiton up 3 Sassol up 6 So, as I said, you know, green just across right the across the right across the board. The SAPI was an interesting one because their results are out tomorrow and we saw just such a strong performance from them today. Yeah. What is going on? Well, look, SAPI has been a tale of woe and despair for many, many years. Look, there's a lot of technical reasons and they had a big rights issue at a massive discount. But forgetting all of that, you know, SAPI was above 100 Rand in 2003. You know, it got as low, I think it got as low as ooh, 14 Rand or somewhere around there. It's up at 25 Rand now. So very much a recovery of a massively, massively oversold level. And although the results are out, I don't think it's on the back of the results being that good. It was just massively oversold during this uh, economic meltdown. So a lot of like what we saw so with Old Mutual. Exactly. I was just about yeah. to say that very, very similar thing. I mean, Old Mutual gives a chairman's statement tomorrow, which is a, a mini trading update. You know, that share is up 5% today, but it's not, you know, Liberty is up 8% on the day. Yeah. So it's not, you know, it doesn't stand out by being up 5%. But yes, it got so sold down that it's just bouncing off kind the Kind of has levels. to come back up uh, just yeah, to, to meet yes. you. Um, the MTN numbers, the subscribers across the board up 8%. Very, yes. very, very strong. Very strong numbers. Look, let's divide it into three main areas. South Africa flat. Nigeria, very strong. Very, yeah, Iran, 12. very strong. Mm -hmm. Now, the average rate that the users pay doesn't look that good, mainly because the currencies that they trade in was, were weak against the dollar, so the conversion doesn't look good. But certainly, the dollar revenue has decreased by roughly the same as what the subscriber numbers have gone up by. This is now per user, of course. Right, yeah. So it doesn't negate the increase in users, but it certainly does temper the revenue that they earn because the average rate is coming down. And this, I mean, this must just be depressed conditions, people just cutting back on their cell phone bills. Yeah, but look, if you can still grow in these conditions, it means right. you've got something right in your corporate strategy and you're going into the right markets and you're making a success out of it. I mean, it appears in Nigeria, the only thing that's stopping the growth is they can't put enough base stations in. Yeah, which they is They just crazy, can't put like the infrastructure in quick enough. I mean, they opened 170-odd base stations, if I if remember my, my, my numbers correctly simply to try and get the rollout to the actual people. Do you think it's expensive at these levels? Uh, MTR's Ahmed uh, from uh, First South I spoke to earlier. He said he thinks it's got 15 20% still in it. Well, look, everyone was talking about when they had those big takeover rumors that it was worth 160 mm. rand. Admittedly, that was in a completely different market environment to what we got now. At 120, I don't think it's bad value. However, I think they're cheap issues. And uh, just touching quickly on the news from Cipla Medpro, and the, I don't know if you got a chance to see that, but they've come out very firm statement. Cipla India saying they will not support the bid under any circumstance. Quite a quite a negative endorsement from Cipla Management. Are yeah. you surprised? Look, I mean, they've they've been anti the takeover bid the whole way along. It could just be negotiation, but you know, I've heard various stories about whether Cipla India supports it or not. Yeah. And a couple of weeks ago, they said they supported it. Right. Uh, there was a letter that came <coughs> out, yeah. and so so there's a, there's a bit of there's a bit of uh, posturing.